Oh, I got soaked. Full trigger. Gee. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Got the Delta Force 23 Mini Sniper and the Delta Force 35 out here at the Pork Pond. Okay, uh, today I just wanted to run the boats, basically. I got a few packs for each, and uh, I wanted to go over what I take with me to the pond. Okay, uh, you never really know what you need while you're at the pond. Okay, you can break something, you know it's always good to have tools so uh stick around i'm gonna go over what i use and what i take at the, to the pond every time i go out and then we're gonna run the boat so stick around you might as well you're freaking here I always bring my boats <laughs> I always bring my boats out all right make sure you always have the right controllers I bring a couple extra batteries you know so you can spend a little bit of time on the water you know um, I always grease my boats up before I go to the pond okay so I'm not having to fumble around while I'm on the water greasing up shafts and uh and, and trying to get the boat right you know um, before I leave the house I usually throw a battery in my boats okay I always bench test my boats before I go to the pond okay it just kind of saves you some time you know make sure your servo is working make sure uh, the, the motor everything sounds good before you go to the pond um, I always bring like a, a fishing pole with me in case I flip my boat or if you have a self writing boat and you know your boat stops working for some reason in the middle of the pond it's always good to have a rod and reel with you or in your car so you can retrieve your boat okay uh, or or a recovery boat that's that's ideal you know in these small ponds rod and reel works good um something to take off propellers okay I, I take my propellers with me every time i go to the pond i always load up my propellers okay i always load them up all right all of them i bring them all i, I put them in my pelican rope bag my book bag here okay um i always bring my temp gun okay this is an invaluable tool to have rc boating you don't want your tips to get too hot you want to kind of re regulate and and uh check temps regularly okay uh, i'm a youtuber so i actually bring my my my, my camera mount i use an, a samsung galaxy s 20 i think ultra all right and i and it just kind of goes right my phone goes right here and that hangs around my neck all right uh it actually works really good you know video in the boats it stays st stable you know if you have it on your head you're like looking around blah 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 uh the the neck mounted phone holder works great for rc boat recording okay i always try to bring like a a, a towel rag so i can wipe my boats off um i keep foam and i actually keep this this uh sponge in my in my book bag all right if my boat's like taking on water and i got a couple packs left you know i actually take this piece of sponge put it in the bottom in the bilge basically on this boat I, I usually will slide it in up under that battery tray all right and it'll, it'll soak up any extra water the boat may have in it okay if you don't like this boat I probably won't tape it up today there'll probably be some water in the boat so I actually need to put this piece of sponge in there you know it actually does a pretty good job of soaking water up I always have hatch tape or electrical tape works great for for your uh, for taping up your boat okay I give you guys a little peak C in my my toolbox here I always have jumpers I always have like a parallel or a series connector uh, adapters you know if you're running different batteries battery connectors it's nice to have a battery adapter for each battery pack and boat connector that you have okay so I always keep those in my box I always have a lighter like a torch lighter because I use Loctite on my prop nuts especially the bullet nuts so I always keep a lighter in case my prop gets stuck on my shaft okay i keep uh my allen wrenches i mean i got big ones i got all kinds of odd size allen screws on some of my custom builds and um you know it's always good to have plenty of allens okay uh heat shrink I always keep a couple pieces of heat shrink looks like i need to put some more in here antenna tube for breakaway nuts this guy right here i use this on my um on my receiver i can plug this into my receiver plug it plug the other end into my gps 
and I could charge this GPS, you know, plug my batteries in, power up the receiver, I could charge my GPS with this wire, okay, on the fly. All right, so I always keep that in. It's actually invaluable. I use my GPS all the time. Uh, extra batteries for my remotes and my temp gun, okay. I keep grease, all right, I keep a little bit of grease in this container right here, uh, and I always bring extra prop nuts and grub screws. I got grub screws somewhere hiding around in here. Uh, grub screws always come loose, you know, you, you might need them. Um, so what I do with my wrenches for each boat, like um, I got so many boats, what I like to do is kind of color code my wrenches so they're easy to identify. Uh, yellow boat, yellow wrench. Orange boat, orange wrench, you know? Yeah. So, you know, uh, all, the, all my spanner wrenches I use, this is what I use to take my nuts off if I'm not using this four-way right here. Um, let's see, what else can I show you here? Electrical tape, these little foam pieces right here, foam building blocks come in handy for like shimming up your batteries to get your weight on, uh, you know, like I, I use them on my battery tray right here to get my battery like slid over, okay, to for my CG, all right, so there's a little battery foams come in handy uh, I make those myself um, I keep tie straps I keep um, programming information in under my tray here uh, I got programming information written on that for other ESC's this is the fly color ESC programming uh, code box uh, keep a couple little scrap pieces of brass tube in here I've never had to use those but I do uh, often use like this little piece of wire right here all right, it's just a, a piece of wire that I keep in my bag. I've had dirt get stuck in my pickups right here if I run the boat aground, and I've actually used this little pick, piece of wire to dig out the dirt in my pickup. All right, that comes in handy. I always keep something like that on hand. And, uh, you know, my, my drivers and flathead, Allen, I actually got a, a bolt, a screw remover, and vice grips in my box too, okay? In case I strip a screw out, I can get it out on the fly. But uh, that's basically what I carry to the to the pond every time. Every time I come out here, man, I, I fit it all in my book bag. I put my batteries over here, you know, in these two pockets. My props go here, and my my remote in the toolbox goes in the book bag. So yeah, yeah, it's hot out here. Let me wipe my sweat off real quick. Get the phone on the phone holder, and let's run a couple boats. Um, my Delta Force 20 fin, yes, I did remember to put turn fins on this time. They're the small turn fins, so I wanted to try to boat out. Because I actually put a different ESC, I put a Dynamite 90 in, a 2968 4000 KV. I'm using a water cooling coil for like a brush motor because I ended up using this water jacket for the water bobber build. Um, I've got the coil and the motor mount water cooling hooked up okay gonna be running the boat on this 3200 milliamp 30c and then we'll throw in a 2200 milliamp 3s 50c and a 4s 100c okay 3200 milliamp 4s so we're gonna be running the boat on that so yeah let's get it let's get it quit jacking my jaws let's freaking get it so i got her out here okay i actually went down on my trim tabs from the last time i ran this boat at, in an up angle positive angle on my strut so uh, let's see what she does here. Let's see what she does. All my, all my controls were backwards. Oh man, it's handling much better. Much better. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to, um... It's nice to have all those tools and stuff, you know. Uh, tuning your boat, you definitely need the the, the tools to uh, to loosen up screws and, and and trim out your boat, you know. Taking it easy, just kind of feeling her out here. Oh, I like this new trim tab and strut position, man. That's boss. Got that skip in the turn with these small trim tabs on it with the or turn fins excuse me that skip in the turn uh, which is why I usually run a bigger turn fin on this boat you know if I try taking a, a corner hard you see how the back end of the boat wants to skip out the larger turn fin actually fixes that but uh 
I actually put the big turn fin on my Sonic Wake. So um, I'm just going to have to deal with it. I can't figure out how to get rid of that skip in a turn. It's drove me nuts ever since I built this boat. And I don't know if it's just the boat being too heavy or what. So I'm actually going to do some tuning here. She's got a lot more in it. I'm not even going full trigger. I'm just cruising. Just cruising, playing with my boat. Sorry about that long uh, intro, you guys. I, I just wanted to let you guys know what I bring to the pond. You know, when I go RC, oh, coming in hot. <laughs> when I go RC boating, you know, I, I don't really show that type of stuff on a, on a regular basis. So hopefully it helps some of you guys out. Man, that water is some kind of hot. Like it's warm, warm water. It's uh, July right now, man, and it's hot, hot out here. All right, so um, so I'm actually going to go down with my turn uh, trim tab. Jeez, what the hell? Why don't I keep saying, getting them mixed up today? I took the 3200 milliamp 30C pack out, 3S, and put a 2200 milliamp 3S 50C pack in. All right, my run time is going to be cut short because of a low milliamp, but the boat's lighter and it should have a pretty good speed. Okay, I didn't really have it turned up with the 3200. Um, <laughs> I really didn't want to to wreck the boat. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fast boat, you guys. So I, I'll turn it up for you guys on this one. All right, let's see what she'll do. Nothing. <laughs> I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> That's why you're supposed to bring a fishing pole. <laughs> 3S 2250C. All right, kind of got you guys zoomed in a little bit. See what that lighter pack does. Oh, yeah. So this ESC uh doesn't have a turbo function like the like the fly color esc has okay the fly color esc has like a turbo you know uh five second burst this esc is just continuous this 90 amp dynamite i'll have a link in the description for the dynamite it's actually a great little esc for these smaller boats you know 90 amps continuous power it runs good with that little battery in it actually running really good i've actually got that 440 on there i am 440 and it's a little big for this boat but it's actually running really good plenty of water cooling coming out is that the battery already where's that thermal Thermal? Yeah, I guess that was the battery. Alright, so let's put the 4S pack on it. Yep, that was the battery because she should have cooled down enough to... Man, that was a quick discharge. That was... 4S, 4S. <laughs> This pack's old, you guys. It's like a year and a half old. Probably not much on it. Probably won't last long. Oh, that's my that's my 23 hour member. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. CG's perfect in it. There we go, baby. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what was that? Jeez, what the hell was that? Nice and clean, huh? Oh, 
I think I broke a, <laughs> geez, oh man, I think I just uh, broke a solder with that 4S pack or I blew the motor up, one of the two. Probably broke a solder, the, the wires were hot on my previous run. Yeah, she probably broke a solder. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, you guys hear that? Either we got a, a wire that came loose or we broke a solder. So let's see, let's see what happened here. So we broke a solder. Yep, it's on that one. That one right there, you guys see the wire? You guys see the wire come loose right here off the ESC okay so uh, that was a 4s pack so um, I'm just gonna resolder it I would say I would go up and connector size but there's no need in doing that on this little setup right here you know uh, it's actually a big prop I was running a 440 on this little on this little guy so um, just pushing the boat too hard with that 440 so i'm gonna go ahead and, and unplug it and we're gonna run the big boy so i got the 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 delta force with the big pack got the gps in there i got some kids over here fishing i really want to do a speed run they they did have their fishing poles in their hand i, I don't want to bother them so i'm just going to do some laps with the m447 with the big pack <laughs> Let's time, let's time, let's time a lap. One. Let's see how fast I can do a lap here. Running good. Running good. All right, a couple cool down laps. I was just running the shit out of it. I can't believe I got 53 doing laps. That's about what I get with my UL 19, man. Holy cow. Oh, that's a smooth boat, son. Smooth as butter. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Stable. Hot, coming in hot all right all right let's put uh let's put a cheap battery in a cheap lipo i don't like fully discharging my batteries i don't like fully discharging them not good for the batteries every now and then i'll run them down to like three five three six per cell you know um and then do like a, a nice tr slow trickle charge. You know what I mean? Twenty nine, ninety eight. Good deal. Fifty three doing laps. Damn. Servo sounds like it's wanting to act act up on me. God, be more careful.
damn it's hot out here jeez oh this boat right here i should have run this boat first man this boat right here makes me happy I don't know why people go fishing here, man. There's only like small, like half pound bass in here. It's the biggest fish I've ever seen out of this pond. Half a pound, seriously. And like these little brim that that you could freaking like cook and, and eat bone and all. <laughs> I don't know why guys come out here and fish. I mean, this guy over here is set up like he's at damn Lake Norman or something in a damn bass fishing tournament or some shit. Look at him, he's got like three rods with him for these little half pound bass in here, if that. He's out here all the time, which like I said, man, there's no, no public lakes around here, no public ponds, so everybody comes to this freaking place to fish or uh, run their boats in my case. Oh, got a little breeze, thank God. I can't wait for the fall, boys. Water temperature cools down, you can run your boats hard as shit. Right now you gotta really pay attention to your water your temperatures, man. Hell the temperature in this pond, I would imagine it's in the 90s, man. For real. Alright, my battery's starting to sag off a little bit. I think this will be the last lap. God, it's a good running boat. So I'll have the V2 going here shortly. I have to get a new um, flex cable for it. Uh, I was out here at the speed run spot just doing some like uh, some some um, some some uh, practice runs I wasn't even videoing and uh, I lost my damn prop shaft well I didn't lose the prop shaft the prop shaft broke on my v2 so uh, I'll have the v2 back in action here shortly and putting an upgrade cable on it damn I'm like stumbling all over my words today so yeah, yeah, the temps are like 120 on the ESC, 117, 106 on the motor. Uh, I actually had 52 on the GPS. It actually just died <laughs> as soon as I pulled it out. So um, yeah, I hope all these little, you know, what I went over today, everything I bring out to the park pond, to the, to the water period with my RC boats helps you guys out. It's always better to be prepared than not prepared you know uh with the way gas prices are hell california you guys are paying right at a little over seven six dollars a gallon you know uh you, you don't want to waste a trip to the pond you know what i'm saying so thanks for watching big b with ironclad rc channel over tinker test tune everything